Good afternoon, everyone. On June 27th, a majority of Prince George's County Board of Education members and I asked the State Superintendent of Schools to audit the graduation rates of all Prince George's County high schools. The Maryland State Department of Education's performance audit findings do not support allegations of systemic direction to change grades in order to artificially increase graduation rates. The auditors also found no financial incentives to change grades and no evidence of, of system-wide intimidation or fraud, relate, fraud related to the allegations. I want to thank State Superintendent Karen Salmon and the auditing firm of Alvarez and Marsal for their professionalism throughout this process. The auditors have done a complete and thorough investigation into the allegations around graduation. We will use their uh, findings to strengthen the school system's policies, procedures, processes, and practices. I am proud of the work of the overwhelming majority of Prince George's County teachers, professional school counselors, school leaders, and support staff who every day prepare our students to graduate ready for success in college and the workplace. Our stu students earn millions of dollars in scholarships from colleges and universities across the country each year. Each year, more students earn college credit and industry certifications while graduating from our college, from our high schools. 20% fewer graduates need developmental courses at Prince George's Community College than four years ago. There is a direct connection between the quality of the education in Prince George's County Public Schools and our students' ability to succeed beyond high school. The audit findings do not substantiate the allegations of system-wide fraud or intimidation. However, the audit findings clearly show we have antiquated systems and there is more need for effective communication and training on policies and procedures for grading and certifying graduates. We must also improve our record keeping and clear up any confusion around changes to our grading policy and procedures. The audit shows that too many schools either did not consistently follow policy, did not adhere to or know about established procedures, or in some cases instituted their own internal process for grade changes and graduation eligibility. This cannot continue. In cases where there is evidence of deliberate attempts to manipulate grades, appropriate disciplinary actions will be taken. We take the audit findings seriously and they will be corrected with a sense of urgency. We will use the audit findings to improve monitoring and oversight of grade reporting and the verification of graduation requirements. We will improve staff training and increase communication with teachers and school leaders to make sure that staff members understand and adhere to existing policies and procedures. Technology will be used to more accurately calculate grades and automate credit verification throughout the school year. Academic integrity must be the cornerstone of our work. We plan to use an external third party to help implement the recommendations from these findings. And next year, I will request a second independent review to ensure our progress. I am confident that we will address these issues and demonstrate meaningful improvement. But I want to be clear, graduating more students is the right goal. For years, too many students in this, field, in this system failed to graduate because of a lack of intentional focus on their success. Our students deserve the same opportunities for a successful life after high school as their peers across the state and country. They deserve to know we care and do not penalize them because of their life circumstances. And they deserve to know we will continue to support them even if it takes more than once to grasp challenging academic concepts. For over 40 years, I have believed in the promise of Prince George's County Public Schools and remain committed to the success of our students. Thank you for your time and attention. And now, before I take any questions, I want to give our board chair, Dr. Sagun Eubanks, an opportunity to address the audit findings. 
Dr. Eubanks. Thank you, Dr. Maxwell. What I want to do is read uh, excerpts from a statement uh, that will be distributed to the press. It is not an official statement of the Board of Education. It is, however, signed by 10 of the 13 sitting members. Uh, most of them are behind me now. Some uh, had to work today. Last May, a letter sent to Governor Larry Hogan alleged widespread systemic corruption to fraudulently boost the high school graduation rates of students in the Prince George's County Public Schools. As expected, an internal and independent audit has found that there was no systemic-wide scheme or direction to change grades to boost graduation rates. There was no financial incentives given to graduate more students and no systemic fraud. Without questions, the problems and challenges cited in this audit must and will be addressed. School staff appeared to have had limited direction, accountability, support, and training in various avenues of academic supports and proper procedures regarding grading, grade changes, and graduation requirements. Now, we believe that many of these issues could have been addressed through the board's own internal auditors in collaboration with leadership. It's our understanding that when said and done, this audit will cost about a half million dollars. We believe similar conclusions would have been reached at a much lower cost, both financially and in terms of the distraction created by our community over the past few months. The results of this audit will allow the Board of Education to better monitor and implement policies and be more aware of and engaged in the process and practices used to move our students forward. The Board will conduct a thorough analysis of what other school districts are doing around these same issues to accelerate our own learning and to lend our learning to others. Is there room for improvement in overseeing policy implementation and ensuring that policies and procedures are followed in holding the administration accountable to fulfill our fiduciary and legal responsibilities of oversight? We know that the answers to those questions are certainly yes, and we will do that. We know that to successfully reach our outcome, the whole team must be working together on the same goals. The Board of Education and the entire school system cannot reach its full potential if we are not all focused on the success of students. We firmly believe that all of our students who come from different races and ethnicities, religions, sexual orientations, social economic statuses, family dynamics, neighborhoods, and ability levels have the capacity to graduate having met all requirements. We're thankful for the work and the efforts put forth by Alvarez and Marshall. We're particularly thankful for the hard work and commitment of our educators throughout this system. We know that these findings, while sobering, provide a pathway for improvement to ensure that every high school diploma is, is awarded with integrity, uh, with the integrity that our students deserve. We want to continue to work with individuals and organizations who want to build up our system and who support its success. We look forward to achieving our goal of becoming a great school system for our county students, families, businesses, and residents. I'll turn it back over to Dr. Maxwell for him to answer questions, and then when he's done, I'll be glad to answer any questions you have of me.